So I've got the algebra window, axis and, and grid, and uh, view on view you've got the spreadsheet. So I've got the spreadsheet up as well. First up, if you ever want to put a title in a cell, like X, Y, you can see what's happening, uh, and points, these will become objects. So that's no good. So we need to work out how do we create a title without it becoming an object. So parentheses is the answer to that. We're just gonna start with one, two and continue on. Now, same as with Excel, you can continue a pattern just by doing that. And then let's make this a cubic. So, so we start with equals, uh, Y is the X value cubed, and then copy that down. Now, this is just data at the moment. So it's nothing's being plotted. To plot this, there's a couple of ways. First of all, if we create the points, and to create the first point, again, we just go equals, parentheses, and then first value, second value. And then copy that down. So this is really, really easy, as you can see. So this has started plotting. So we'll need to adjust the axes. So click on the axes and we need, need to move you know, the move graphics tool. You can do this a couple of ways. Um, you know, maybe, oh, it's getting close. Anyway, let's just do it this way now. Uh, that's about right. So that's the way to turn data into points and to plot them. Let's say now this is not a perfect set of data. Let's say this is a little bit cubic, but not quite cubic. So we're just going to make some adjustments here. So let's say we've, we've actually gathered this data from somewhere. I know this is contrived, but I just want to cover some skills. And I, I want to show you another way to plot. But also, let's say we wanted to plot this and then work out what the graph was, or work, work out what the equation was. So the essential key to that is to create a list of points in the algebra window. So to do that, we highlight the values of the first two columns there and go over here. And on this drop down, there's a list of points. So we click that and create. And here's our list in green. And the points are noted here and notice that they've been plotted as well. Might want to move that across a bit. I'll say one other thing. Interestingly, if the points list was populated, so we had one, one, two, nine, etc., and highlighted that column and tried to do create a list of points from that. It won't work. You can try it, but that doesn't work. You've got to um, highlight your data to create a list. So let's say this is a random set of points and we want to try to calculate a, a line of best fit. There's a feature in here called fit. So there's lots of things you can fit. If you type in fit, there's all sorts of things, but we're going to go fit poly and click that. And so what it's asking for is the list of points. And this is why we had to create the list because you need a list of points for this feature. So it's just simply list one, just spell it exactly as it appears in the algebra window. And the degree of polynomial, oh, I think that looks like a cubic. Why would I be saying that? Ha ha. Let's put in three and hit enter. And there it is. If we distort this a bit further, let's do that as 140. You can see these points are moving, you know, to make this a bit more so that's a, let's say that's a 750. I'm only doing this to show you, let's say that's an 1800, to show you how this works. So it's still a line of best fit, and you can see the equation up here. Interestingly, you'll see this in a later video, you can copy paste data from Excel and from other spreadsheets into GeoGebra. Creating a list of points you can see here, which plots them. Creating a list by highlighting your data and clicking this little fella, list of points, and using the fit command, you can choose polynomial and then you can choose your uh, degree. So let's look at how to generate points on a graph on the number plane here and then record those to the spreadsheet. So we're going to start off with the slider, uh, that you just use the default settings, and then we're going to generate a point called A, and then let's just go A squared, shall we, for the sake of it. And as you can see, that point moves around. We might want to uh, 
Okay, so I think that's right. Then all we need to do is right click the point, record the spreadsheet. We could also trace it. If we right click, we can animate, um, but let's just do this manually. And so you can see that we are recording the points. Now let's just use a trick we learned in the other video, which was, let's see if we can work out whether this is in fact the graph um, y equals x squared. So let's go fit poly, but we need to generate a, a list. So we highlight the data, choose list, choose create list. There's the list. Now the list of, so fit poly, list of points is list one again, and the uh, degree is two. And there's the perfect graph, and indeed it's f of x is x squared. So there you go. Now the other thing to notice over here, I noticed that if that if that's not red, then it won't record. Um, so if you want to kind of redo this, uh, that needs to be on. It's a little uh, something I noticed. That's enough of this video. What I want to get to though is that an actual investigation which uses these sorts of principles. So there you go. Thanks for watching.